Last week we discussed how to edit roots and more importantly how to dynamically edit roots. Uh, Chris Banner was kind enough to post this on his blog so if you missed it go check it out because there are some nice tricks on speeding up root editing. As mentioned there today I will show you a couple of ways to place fittings. You might ask yourself what's wrong with the normal place fitting command. Using the standard place command is fine when you have all the time in the world to do a root, but when it's hot and heavy and you can't see the top of the work pile, you may want to take some time and learn the tricks I'm going to show you today. So the first I shouldn't even mention really is the standard place fitting command up in the root tab or right click contextual menu. I will mention it to remind you that you should have a short key assigned to it. I use multi-character commands just like in AutoCAD, so PF will serve as place fitting in my case. The next one on my list would be Content Center Favorites. I have all sorts of favorites on my Content Center grouped by category as fasteners, steel shapes and tube and pipe, which is split once again by material, ABS, PVCU, etc. I use AutoDrop since it's been introduced by Macsoft. Anyone rem remembers that? before being acquired by Autodesk, so drag drop or double click on the favorites item in the left side pane once you change from model to favorites. For some reason, um, somebody at Autodesk with way too much free time on his hand has added the whole content center into favorites menu, um, I think in Inventor 2014 making it slow to load, so I suggest that you remove current favorites group in Content Center and leave just your own favorites like I have. For times when I'm just starting up to even pipe and there are no placed fittings that I can reuse, I keep a text document open on the second screen. This contains a short list of folder paths of the most commonly used fittings like ball valves, sample valves, check valves, pressure gauges, butterfly valves and so on and so on. So I copy the path of the fitting I need from the text document and after typing PF place fitting with nothing selected, yeah, um, I, I paste the path in the browser to quickly navigate to where, uh, to, to that folder. This speeds up the navigation to the fitting folder where I can double click on the one I need. If you already have placed a few similar fitting inside Tube and Pipe Assembly, then you can change your selection filter to a part priority. Hold Shift and press right click. And after selecting the desired fitting, use PF, my place fitting short key, to have it droppable with your mouse pointer. If you want to place a fitting from a different run, use part priority. And if you need to select a fitting from the current run, use component priority. Sometimes, even if you're on part priority, you can't select fittings from outside the current run. Um, this is a glitch. All you need to do is activate part priority again, and it's working. On the dynamic root editing in Chris blog, I mentioned another possibility and it's one that I use a lot. It's simple and fast, no fuzz, no error. This is another favorite just before placing from similar roots. I have created a two inch assembly of the most commonly used fittings I use and I placed it as a regular part inside the top level assembly. While inside the run, I can change the selection filter to part priority and just pick up parts from there to quickly place them. I haven't created an assembly for each size because it's just as easy to right click on the fitting and copy the file path from the eye properties. So you right click, eye properties, copy, place fitting, paste, enter and double click to place it. And this is it. Next time I'll show you how to do pipe clamps, pipe um, hangers. Do you use pipe clamps? I use them a lot and I've got a really nice trick on how to place uh, pipe clips 
how to author them as uh, TubeMPy fittings and how to place them um, so that the, the pipe still report as full length the pipe is not interrupted the bill of Butelia will report a full length pipe but you'll be able to drop it just like a regular uh, TubeMPy fitting where you can change size change rotation uh, and connect it just like a regular TubeMPy fitting um, I have done an eye part and then published it to Content Center just to make it easy. But you'll be able to change size, you'll be able to do all sorts of things just like on a regular fitting. So if you do, join me next time and I'll show you how to do that. Till next time, bye bye.